your routine was a little rushed this morning. Apparently, the power went out last night. Um, and so you guys didn't get enough sleep on the charger and the battery was blanking out. And so I kind of had to, uh, to film pretty expeditiously and uh, cut short some of my sunscreen application for you guys. But yes, I did put it on my forehead and around my eyes and on my neck and ears and all those good places. But I am still using that uh, Bioderma sunscreen that my friend um, in the Netherlands sent me formulation of it, excuse me, is uh, sort of similar, I think, to the Neutrogena Clear Pore chemical sunscreen we have here in the U.S. It's just a little bit more watery, um, but um, as I mentioned in my other videos when I was talking about it, like last weekend's vlog, for example, the um, filters that protect against UVA in that, um, the chemical filters, are a little bit more stable than um, the Ava Benzone that we have here in the U.S. But, Last night I did that hair mask that came in the pinch me box. Um, it was kind of nice, the Aragon hair mask. Here, I'll show you guys right quick. Yeah, this Arva Zaya <laughs> Professional Services Hydrating Argon Oil Mask. I will say the fragrance, fragrance in this is quite strong, but it's pretty nice. I, I didn't think it was any better than when I used the Anjou Argon Oil on my um, on the tips of my hair. It's just like. Just like a thick conditioner, basically. Um, I thought it was pretty nice. Uh, this was actually pretty good. It's got a really, like I said, a really strong fragrance to it, though. Um, and I don't really think this offers too much more other than, like, you know, a conditioner. But, I don't know, my hair is getting kind of long and unruly. But I left it down to show you guys um, what it looked like this morning. Because it didn't come out greasy or heavy or anything like that. So, that's always good. I always, um... I don't really like to do a lot of conditioner stuff because I find that if it just tends to kind of build up on my hair after a while. Um, and I really only direct it to the tips of my hair. Yeah, but on a daily basis, I never use conditioner. I stopped using conditioner years ago when I saw, a few years ago when I stopped um, heat styling my hair with a blow dryer. I used to blow dry my hair um, when I lived in a colder climate and I no longer do that. So I no longer need to use conditioner. And I swear my hair is a lot more well, I mean, now it looks like something out of uh, Greek mythology, but it's a lot more contained, if you will. Um, but, oh, my coffee, my, I haven't had my coffee yet. My water is boiling, so I'm just going to dance on over here to the sink with you guys. Um, not sink, stove. Uh, the times are all off because the power went off. Um, here, I'm just going to prop you guys there. Ugh, gotta hydrate first. Okay. So, I'm just gonna do my teaspoon of beauty dust here in Totoro. Like I said, my lifestyle favorites. I pretty much just drink this stuff for the taste, but anecdotally, I think I see a brightening effect with it. Um, update you guys on the NMML box. Um, the uh, sweet people at um, Nomakino Life uh, got back to me and they apologized for sending me the same box. I was like, hey, listen, I'm happy to have that uh, cleansing lotion again. If you're confused as to what I'm talking about, um, a few vlogs ago I mentioned that, uh, that the Nomakino Life people sent me uh, the exact same box twice, the one with the uh, Neal cleansing lotion that I really like. Um, and I reached out to them and they're like, oh, don't worry, we'll send you another box um, uh, with the next cycle. So I'll have one, another one, which I'm excited about. And they didn't charge me, so I thought that was nice. But I think they're really, they're, it seems like they're a small, smaller company, or at least that's what they seem like on their, on their website. It's hard to kind of gauge just by talking to the, talking to the sales representatives. But you guys, check it out. I, um, I'm starting sprouting, and uh, I got this sprouting jar from iHerb, and uh, these are broccoli broccoli seeds, I guess. Uh, bro they're going to be broccoli sprouts, and uh, I'm just following the instructions. So I basically had to soak the sprout. The, it's like uh, two tablespoons um, of, of the seeds, and, and uh, you know, you soak them in water for a couple of hours, and then you drain the water off. You do another water rinse and then you, you drain it. And each day you kind of re-wet them and, and drain the water off. Um, so they stay moist, but not, I know people hate that word moist, but so they stay wet, but um, not, you know, soaking. 
um, and they drain properly and they're supposed to sprout I'm, I don't know it's it's about 70 in here at baseline usually I'm hoping it doesn't dip below that um, you know and and they're they're okay I think that's a good temperature for them though according to the package but you guys will if you saw my sorry I have a little a little uh, piece of fuzz on my lip <clears throat> if you watch my H Mart vlog I got some mung beans and I do intend to try sprouting those if, if this goes well. Um, but these are the broccoli, the broccoli sprouting seeds that I got. They're from High Mowing. So organic sprouting seeds broccoli. Delicious flavor with a slight spiciness. I'm really I'm really hopeful that this works out. I should have broccoli sprouts. Um, so let's see, it says it takes about four to five days, so I should have them sometime midweek. So I'll keep you guys posted on the broccoli sprouting progress. But anyways, I am uh, gonna sip on my coffee here. My mom and I are um, are going to the library today. She's gotta take back some books, but I'm double dating on books, guys. I've got Rosamund Pilcher's uh, September as an audiobook. Totally loving that, you guys. I mean, it's... It's awesome. You guys were totally right. I mean, I enjoyed, I completely enjoyed um, The Shell Seekers, and this is, is very similar, not similar, but, um, you know, equally enjoyable, I will say. And I, I'm really liking it a lot. But I'm also, yesterday I started reading um, Dickens' Great Expectations. And I'm only like 10 pages in. <laughs> I just love that book. So I'm really enjoying that. And I'm kind of double dating on books here. Um, and I'm hoping, I took back my, um, you'll recall the last time I went to the library, one of the last times I went to the library, I got that book on, um, on sprouting. I took it back. I couldn't renew it because I had like, because I had exhausted my number of renews, so I'm hoping they reshelved it and I can check it back out again today. But anyway, so that is what is going on. Um, I'm just gonna have my coffee, um, respond to you guys' comments that came in through the night, and uh, head on out to my mom. So uh, that's what's going on, the library. Hi guys, happy Saturday. You got your uh, books there to take back? Yeah. I like your scarf. Thank you. It's festive. Nice. Yeah, I'm wearing my, uh, this actually is like a poncho that came in my FabFitFun box. Yeah, it's, it's kind of big, but it's, it's good, you know, it's kind of one of those drapey things, I guess, but it's more of a poncho, I guess. It's I really, it really on, nice. Right? I like it, hon. I'm getting some good use out of it. It's not too cold out today. It's pretty, it's a pretty day out. It's like a dollar for a hardcover book, 50 cents for a paperback book, and 25 cents for a magazine. But I think one of the things they had, healthy sleep habits, happy child, isn't that correct? I mean, I don't have children, but I, I can guess that that is an accurate statement. Look what they have though, guys. They have the shell seekers. Large print. I kind of enjoy reading large print books. Does anybody else? I mean, I, my vision, unfortunately, is is such that I don't need to. But I find it's kind of nice on the eyes. I'm tempted to get those for a dollar, but it's a pretty pretty cover. I really enjoyed it. My mom's Sorcerer's watched the first. Of, you watched the first two Harry Potter's. Yeah, the Sorcerer's Stone and the Chamber of Secrets. One, one more? Or no, you got two more? I don't know. I don't. Well, goes on forever. Oh, really? Yeah, hey, there's like awesome. six. I had no idea. Yeah. I'm totally out of it. But they also have this book. I mean, it's not really my style. It's ready made. How to make almost everything. Which is it's kind of cool. I don't know. It's like a shopping bag rug. Now, how handy is that? Did you see this? You can make a bag, a, a rug out of shopping bags. <laughs> Oh, this is handy. A Pringles mug caddy. They oh. reused cans. Yeah, that's how clever is that? You know, um, my uh, the viewer who made me that um, that that wreath. I think she would get a kick out of this book. Yeah, ready made. Uh -huh. What's that's that you got there? One. Is that a good one? I don't think I've ever read that. Yeah, it's. It's good. I, 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 people love it, but it's not my favorite. Oh, okay. Well, guys, we came back from the library. Look how cute my mom is uh, 
putting up her Majolica collection up here. You're doing such a good job with the spacing. Just over Tuesday the years. morning, over the years, you've, yeah. You've amassed quite a collection. You have a nice, I have uh, too many of you have a nice Thanksgiving platter for serving yeah. the carved turkey, but we, we have well, to. We put our roasted veggies yeah, on there this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, look good. Oh, I know many of you uh, watch me from Canada, and my mom has a Canadian friend. She's and she from went home, Finland. Went, oh, okay. And she brought me this. She went home over the holiday and brought my mom back this Auntie Auntie Craze ginger and rhubarb jam. You said it's really good? It's very good. This um, comes from... I think it's from Newfoundland, too. It doesn't say on the label. Oh, yeah. Portugal Cove, St. Phillips, Newfoundland. Ooh, that looks good. And she also got you some salt, too. Yeah, this is Brought really you some interesting. Newfoundland seasonings, Atlantic sea salt, roasted garlic. Ooh, I bet that is delicious. You could put that on your, you do set your potatoes come out so good in the yeah, oven. My mom makes these oil-free yeah. potato fry. They're like homestyle potatoes. What would you call them? I think they're more like roasted potatoes. They're really good. Um, this but is cute. That would be really good on them. Bold yet friendly, like a Newfoundlander. <laughs> Newfoundlander. I don't know how you say that. Newfoundlander. Newf Newfoundlander? Newfoundlander? When it comes to my personal compulsions, it's library books. I, like, I can't ever leave the library empty-handed. I mean, I went there recently, like a few days ago, and got Dickens, uh, my Dickens book. But I also picked up, um, I had read this, um, you know, this came through on Goodreads as, like, one that was popular this year, and it looked kind of cute. It's, it's for young adults, but this is Phil Collins' daughter. She's an actress, I guess. Um, and this is just, like, a little... Um, you know, kind of self-esteem type book that is good for young adolescents that I thought I would just give a read here to kind of, I don't know, it interested me. And then I got this indoor kitchen gardening book that I had before um, because I had to return it and couldn't renew it and they reshelved it so I got it again now that I'm into sprouting. I'm really hopeful that my, my broccoli sprouts do okay. Yeah, I'm excited for them. And then you guys will be happy to see what I also picked up. I couldn't could not get this. I'm really excited about it. You you all who have watched my cooking videos, you know my struggle with the knife sh knife knife thing. Um, so I got this knife skills, an illustrated user's manual. It looks really good. Here, let me just show you guys. Um, it tells you how to cut all of these different kinds of uh, vegetables properly. Um, so this is really helpful. This is the kind of thing that I enjoy. Um, looking at and learning because um, it's pictorial and uh, this will help me in, in getting better with the knife situation but anyways yeah peeling a mushroom see lots of handy stuff in here I'll see if I can't find this on Amazon Peter Hertzman yeah it'd be nice if we could find a place to get knives sharpened Sir La Table Sir La, Sir La Table oh, people Sir La commented but that requires us to go to the Galleria which that's too oh. much that's too much human interaction. I'd rather cut off my, my uh, hand than do that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. and I ordered another classy pal bib and brought it over here because I, every time I come over here, I'm like, oh, I need my classy pal bib. Otherwise, I'm going to get stuff all over my shirt. <laughs> my mom made, this is a black bean and corn and refried bean cooked down you made in the crock pot. Good. So I'm basically having it like a mock taco salad. Oh yeah, looks good. So That's it's uh, good. I have was this romaine, and then some of the beans, guacamole, <laughs> carrots. We have a lot of carrots to go through. Some celery, and then you made like this um, cucumber, cucumber and apple cider vinegar. Yeah, just a marinade. Yeah, like, like a pickle. So. That's gonna be good. And you've got a tortilla there. Yeah, a little corn tortilla. And I was just thinking I better grab some carrots because we have so many. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Mom's gonna make us some uh <laughs> some matcha. She's gonna make us some <laughs> She's gonna make us some matcha banana ice cream with our vanilla matcha here. How cool. You're just pulsing frozen bananas in the food processor? Yeah, now I'm going to add one teaspoon of the green tea, the matcha. The vanilla green tea? Yeah. Let's see. In he goes. Just two ingredients. Cool. This is delicious. Looks 
good. Just two I ingredients. Put, yeah, the matcha tea. I put one teaspoon. Mm -hmm. And uh, two frozen bananas. Wow. I did have to drizzle a little bit of almond milk, but just a tiny bit. Yeah, it looks very creamy. It looks just yeah, like uh, ice try. cream. It's yeah. delicious. Cool. That's a good little energy kick. A little yeah. green tea yeah, energizer. We're over here in Kroger. And this uh, Fab Fit Fun Poncho Duels is a good uh, way to camouflage the camera when I'm walking around. So it's kind of, I've kind of got you guys hidden in the uh, in the drape here, if you will. <laughs> We're looking at coffee because we discovered that my mother is uh, dangerously low on on the uh, Mitchells. Okay, I'm happy that we could try to do the French press, but mm -hmm. um, you need to choose one or the other. Guatemala or Costa Rica? Uh -huh. I have had Costa Rican coffee before and enjoyed it. Um, I, I can't say that. I like the color green. Let's choose that. <laughs> Well, this one is a little milder. That's fine. Oh. See, and then this is almost all the way dark. You were saying you like this big yes, old tea? Yes, I've always loved the It has an orange. Common. I think you have mentioned that. I've got to say, I think Bigelow's Perfect Peach is uh, superior to Celestial Seasonings Country Peach. I've had both, and I really love Country Peach. Don't get me wrong, but Bigelow is, is better. Bigelow is better. Guys, I tried these nut thins that came in that pinch me box and I, I didn't care for them. They were a little too salty. I think this was the flavor that I had. I will not be purchasing those. Hey guys, so um, I'm just about to whip up some dinner. I went ahead and went to the gym, but this is a um, Hamilton sunscreen that I talked about last week. Um, I like this. You've been using it? The one from, uh, yeah. from Australia? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like it. Um, it's I would say a, a U.S. dupe for it. I guess would be the Neutrogena Clear Pore um, Acne Sunscreen. Okay. That's a good one. But I remember that when I when this one runs out, but I love it. I like the way it goes on. You watching Miss Erica? Yes. You like her? <laughs> I do. I like. Her. Yeah, she's a nice lady. When I was editing the uh, footage, you had your, did you spill water on your, on your shirt earlier today? You had a big water. It's from this thing. It yeah. Travels. Yeah. If you'd had Classy on. If you'd had Classy Pal on, you would have been protected. That's true. <laughs> At least it was water. When it was me, it was that way every night. <laughs> well, it had the magnesium powder in it. Yeah. I love that. I've got some of these little envelopes that, that I was given during. Oh, the natural con? Yeah, and they're really handy because you just tear it up and Yeah, it I like those. Yeah, I, I like to have them in the morning. I one today. Yeah. That's what dribbled on me. Yeah. Update on the uh, library book front. Um, we've been enjoying the Great Expectations, of course. I was reading it out loud. It's such a good book. It's so it witty. And they're so mean to the little boy. But I have to say, I uh, I don't think I'm a fan of this Lily Collins book. What do you think? I think the message is, is somewhat good, but the tone is uh, it's a little uh, how would you you call it? Maybe a little a little arrogant. I would Let's say. give it a chance. Yeah. You're only what two chapters in? Or yeah. A bit? I think you know maybe when she. It's her stride. She'll Perhaps. Have share. Yeah. I mean, I didn't expect her to be, you know, the next great author. I didn't have high expectations as far as the writing, but um, I yeah, think it, I think if you find yourself fr uh, verbalizing frustrations with the millennial generation, you may uh, find yourself grumbling a little bit with with just the tone. It's it's a little a little bit me myself and I, don't you think? It is. Yeah. yeah. But you know. Uh, like I said, I'm giving her a chance. Yeah, I didn't think yourself. I didn't realize this was Phil Collins' daughter. But I um, saw so that I didn't even know she was an actress. Yeah, I, I I I wasn't familiar with her either. I mean, we don't completely live in a cave. I know earlier in the library I was like, oh, Harry Potter, how many of those are there? It's just sometimes things like that they just 
they're occurring, but you're so invested in what you're doing that they pass you by and you miss them completely. But then, you know, Harry Potter went on for a long time. I remember reading the first, like, one or two books, and then I got busy with whatever was going mm -hmm. on in my life at the time. I mean, when you don't have kids and, you know, you're kind of invested in something, sometimes those things can, can go over you. And uh -huh. I think that's what happened to me at the time. But I, um, I remember going to see one of the movies, not, not the earlier ones, and there was some the creature called a Dementor in there that I was very scared of. <laughs> that was a little... Yeah, it's pretty, pretty kinda, scary. I yeah. mean, they had all these spiders, and then there's this giant snake creature that Ooh. comes out. And it's like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I do remember Phil Collins quite fondly. <laughs> not, just wasn't aware that he had a... Uh, had a daughter unit, or that, I, I, you know, I probably knew that he had a daughter, but I didn't realize that she was an adult now. I had <laughs> That's what happens. Time goes by so quickly that mm -hmm. celebrities have children, that you remember them having a child, and then one day you look up and the kid's an adult. It's up right in yeah, it, it, it's it, in you know, movies that you haven't seen because you're so out of it. <laughs> you're not out of it, you're just, you know, involved in what you're doing. Yeah. It's hard to keep up with. Culture. But speaking of popular culture, I am really, even though I'm behind, obviously, I am really enjoying um, Downton Abbey. So I think we're going to watch glad. that tonight. Oh, good. Yeah, I love yeah. my Downton Abbey. Well, it's so visually appealing. It, and I'm really, yeah, I really like it. Maybe how Dawn Classy will be watching. I think she has a crush on Matthew. Oh, he is attractive. <laughs> is that the one with the blue eyes? Yes. What was the one who died? Mr. Mr. Padook? Oh, yeah, Mr. Pamook. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Uh, that really caught you by the surprise. Thing that, the thing I know that's, um, I mean, I under, understandably so, because it must be so involved to make the show, but it's only seven episodes a season, so I don't want to let go of it. Yeah. It's well, good. When, when I really it like ends, it. it's terrible. You know, it's so hard to let go. Oh, why don't you tell everybody your potato thing? Because I think they'll ask for a recipe. And um, It's just I... potatoes. Uh, I quartered them up, uh -huh. put them in a baggie, and sprayed them with that avocado spray that we use. Okay. And then this time I did, because we were out of the lemon pepper, mm -hmm. so I used uh, pepper, thyme, and a little bit of this special salt. Ooh, we'll have that. Um, since it's so coarse, mm -hmm. I put it in here and kind of ground it up. Oh, okay. Into like a powder and All put right. that on. Well, I bet that's going to be... that's actually... Oh, and some bay leaf. Too. I bet that's going to be delicious. Though. Oh, 400 degrees. <laughs> we'll see. So anyways, yeah. guys, I hope you all enjoyed the vlog addendo today. I'm going to conclude it here and shower off. Um, and yeah, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.